we can't be moved by culture. So many believers after, in the beginning, they say, oh, I'm against abortion, or I know that God made a male and female, and uh, you know, I'm created in his image and his likeness. And then as the culture just bangs away at these things, it's easy to give up what you truly know is right and to give over your belief system and adopt the world system. And God tells us not to do that. He tells us to be separate from them, to not be, uh, we, want, we want to be accepted by them sometimes and we start giving in to agendas. And in the end, someone really, Satan is behind it. Someone yes. is stolen from, somebody dies. There's the killing, regret, murder, the there's regret. And maybe, you know, like me, maybe I was a young woman. I thought I was all that because they told me I was because I'm woman, watch me roar kind of thing was the <laughs> attitude in the 70s and we get to fight for equal pay. Well, yeah, there should be equal pay for equal work. Absolutely. And can women do anything? Absolutely. But should they do everything? I mean, each woman has to decide that. But motherhood was put down to us first. The tearing down of motherhood, putting down women that would choose to have a child. I mean, you can do so many things with your life. And I was a feminist. I was an activist. I was never going to get married, never going to have children because someone in the school system indoctrinated me to think there was no value in that and that there was no, uh, why would I waste my talent on such a thing as that? And now I look back on this and I was fed a bunch of lies. I was fed a bunch of lies about that made me self-centered, that made me think I was a God unto myself and that I made my choices for my own life and I was going to be independent. And in doing so, it ended up that I encouraged other women to have an abortion, which I repented to God for. And I myself had an abortion. And after that, there was something that changed in my heart. It changed me because I acted, this is an act of murder. You can say, well, I didn't know. Well, I didn't know, but I did have a conscience that this wasn't right. Uh, I can even remember talking to that abortion counselor as it's not really a counselor. It's basically someone's trying to get you to sign the paperwork and tell you to do it. But they have to, for political purposes back then, they had to have a counselor. And I told the counselor, I just don't feel right about this. I don't feel good about it. And she goes, your destiny, your future is all ahead of you. This is the right choice. And you'll feel much better about it later. And really did a lot of um, maneuvering as a young girl who's looking for answers from somebody, some direction. And so between what I was being told at school, what the culture's saying, and then sitting in that situation. But immediately afterward, I felt this horrible feeling. I'd, I'd done something terrible. And as time went by and I cried out to God because I actually became suicidal. And then as I cried out to God, he was there for me. And I praise God for forgiveness and restoration. And that I can talk about this today mm -hmm. and actually have had the opportunity to pray for women who couldn't get pregnant. Yes and who have had lots and lots of babies. I've been at over 100 births of babies. Uh, I'm a mother, and actually Satan wants to attack your mother and mm -hmm. call. Yes. Women are called nurturers. Uh, Malachi says, why did God make the two one? Because he sought a godly seed. I wanna encourage you today, if you've had an abortion, or maybe you were a part of this, or party to an abortion, or maybe you were a parent who encouraged a young person to get an abortion because you were afraid, you didn't know what to do, uh, you know, a lot of times it's pride. We don't want anyone to know. There are so many people out there who want babies and can't have babies. One, two, we need to forgive. We need to receive forgiveness from God and forgive ourselves for making mistakes like mm -hmm. this. And God is there for us. He's not condemning us. He's not mad at us.